Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can add a Google or Gmail account to your iPhone 11 Pro running iOS 13. Now, the first thing you want to do is go back to your home screen, then tap on the settings icon in here. You want to tap on password and accounts, and then tap on website and password. With website and password, we will be able to um, add in the username and password so we can save it. So in the future, if we need to use it again, we can uh, simply uh, select the password from the list. So I'm gonna tap on the add icon right here and put in the website. So I'm gonna put in google.com and username. So I'll put in the username right here. Then I'll put in the password so I'm going to put in the password and then we put in the done button. So tap on the done button. So once you tap on the done button, it will be added to the list. Now tap on the back key at the top to go back to accounts. Then down here we tap on add account and then we choose Google. And then tap on continue. So I'm going to choose the account right here that I have just created just then and then I want to tap on next and then I'll put in the password so again I use the password from the list and I will tap on next now if your phone have a two-step verification you need to verify before you can actually uh, use this account so depending on whether you have uh, activated two steps account before or not and whether you have already verified for this device or not now in here are the different options you can turn on mail contacts calendars and notes so you can activate or deactivate any of the options here if you want to use gmail so you can turn on mail and then tap on save and that's it so now the google account has been added and you can see it shows here gmail account has been added and that's it so that's how you can add the google account to your phone you can launch the email app and in here in, um, it may not show you anything because it may take some time to check for mail and then sync it down to your phone so you can see it's starting to download now so give it some time so maybe five or ten minutes depending on the size of your mailbox and then just wait for a while for the e your, um, emails to update and uh, the flow of emails to come into your inbox and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos